Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Deathstroke, uh, issue number 31, Deathstroke versus Batman, part two. All right, so a lot of really cool things happen in here, and I'm going to get into something kind of important after the grade. Basically, you just have uh, Slade and uh, Mr. Wintergreen, both versions, <laughs> the, the electronic and the organic, hanging out, and all of a sudden, they're, they're flying over top of Saudi Arabia, and... Uh, what do you call it? It's funny, the translation that's in here. This is actually the version of, of Arabic that I speak. <laughs> the uh, the Hijazi, the, the West Coast version uh, or, or dialect. So this is funny, man. <laughs> this is cool. So Batman shows up. It's not actually Batman. And he pays the price for not being Batman. Uh, doesn't get killed, but yeah, he's probably going to die. Anyway, um... Uh, Slade has to go back and get his sword because his plane got shut down. He lost his sword. He had to go get it. Meanwhile, you got, um, what's his face? Batman, uh, as Bruce Wayne, he can't really Batman up right away because Gordon was involved in this. So he's got to do a different way of approaching getting back his, his, uh, secret technology, his chip. Okay. That's out there. This prototype that the government didn't want him to put out there in the free market. Well, um, I've never seen, and, and I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I've never seen Bruce Wayne go out there and be like the mafia, uh, the mafia capo. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was pretty impressive. Uh, I love the way that Christopher Priest does Bruce Wayne. I would really like to see uh, Priest do a Batman story, a Batman arc, a Batman run, something. Like, this was good. I really want to see this version of Bruce Wayne out there. This was awesome. He never even has to suit up. You know what I'm saying? So awesome. So anyway, uh, it turns out that Talia al Ghul is uh, plotting everything, like everything that's going on on both sides, Deathstroke's side, Batman's side, and probably some other sides too. She is behind all of this stuff, and it's awesome I'm digging it. I want to give this comic book an A-. minus. It was... There were, it's not too hard to follow. Like, if you can get past the first page, which always seems to be one of those weird little things where it's like, dude, what am I reading? By the time the second page happens, it's just adrenaline rush straight through. And even the, the, the lulls are just like, you know, like, like, like the first part is running to the top of the, the roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? That's the part you just got to get over. Once you start moving, though, that's it. And even, yeah, like I said, even the lows are still just going, you know, when you're down and you're about to go back up again into a freaking, you know, barrel roll spiral. This entire comic book is a roller coaster, which is key to the way that Christopher Priest writes. Also, something that I've never noticed before, like in his Black Panther run, um, this is the important part I want to mention. It seems like every single character has his own voice. Now, I don't know if Priest did this on purpose, if this was just me. Maybe this is just me seeing it because I am actually a teacher of English in the foreign language. Uh, it's where I get the professor and Professor Bill from. Um, so I'm seeing here that every single character, for the most part, seems to have his own dialect. And that's interesting. It's not just reading an accent like, you know, when you read Rogue as opposed to Psylocke, instead of saying, I am over here, you know, I'm over here. No, there's, you know, it's different than just writing a little thing here or there. There's actually a different grammatical subtext to the way that every single person talks. Now, I'm not precluding that this was done accidentally or, you know, inadvertently, but I I seem to think that Christopher Priest does this on purpose, and if so, I'm really proud that I was able to recognize that, and just, yeah, I don't actually know, I should just do a quick little internet search, see, does Christopher Priest write from issue one, because if so, I have heard that this series is good, either way, I think I'm just going to have to pick up the whole series, like all these issues, because th this is really good. Like, this is the reason why you read comic books, to get this kind of a story just thrown at you, and I'm loving it. That's it for me, guys. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.